but will you're gonna need it hi hi here we go good so congratulations on a week away i watched it last week i thought it was incredible thank you thank you so much yeah it has such good high energy that must have been such a fun uh, movie to film yes for sure it was it was a blast every day so just to kind of get started i have a few questions about your guys's like background and then we'll get straight into the the movie stuff both of you guys have theater experience. Talk to me a little bit about the difference between doing these big dramatic musical numbers on a camera screen rather than on a stage. A stage, I feel like you probably, I mean, it, it sounds weird, but in a lot of ways you have a lot more room. Cause like when the, I mean, you have to like with certain camera angles, it's a little bit more difficult. Like I know we are filming Great Adventure. I got run over by our camera guys so many times. And I was like, it was my own fault. Like I, I should have gotten out of the way faster, but um, it was, we hadn't really rehearsed with the cameras while we were in those three weeks of rehearsal. And so um, just adjusting to that, because when you're in theater, like you kind of know your space a little bit better. Um, but I think, I think filming, I think the spatial issues were a little different. Like in theater, you know what direction you're playing in all the time. Like, unless you're in the round, which is kind of a rare situation, but like, you know, you, you know where the audience is and you have that in mind the whole time, even if you're not directly like addressing them, you know, you're, you're interacting with your scene partners or whatever, but that's where, that's the angle that you get seen from. Whereas on, on film, you don't know, or at least I don't know. And uh, I, it was my first, it was, it was my first feature. Um, and learning from like Bailey, for example, is the one who comes to my mind. Cause she always knows where the camera is. She's like all on it. Like she, she knows her angles, like, like the back of her hand. And it's like, yeah, having to, having to like negotiate between the direction that you're acting in uh, and like, where the camera is 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 uh was definitely a thing that I had to learn but uh on the other end of that we get to do it again <laughs> like if we mess up like we can get another take like that's that's a luxury that you don't you don't have in in theater if you you know the show must go on but not in not in film if it, if the show uh needs to take a break or <laughs> needs to cut like it can <laughs> yeah a little bit less pressure there right <laughs> yeah <totally>. yeah <laughs> So other than your characters, George and Presley, who are totally adorable, what are some of your like favorite roles that you've played in the past? So this is this is both me and Jabril's first uh, feature role. I've done um, a few television roles, which I did a Fox and Marvel's The Gifted. And so that was one of my favorite roles, I think, to date, because I, I got to be in scenes where like we blew up like giant buses. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. I also like just I love Marvel and I love being on that set. Um, but as far as like theatrical roles, um, probably no one's familiar with it. Jabal, I'm going to be interested to see if you're familiar with it. This is this is yeah, not a musical. This is right play. Do you know The Curious Savage? I do not. You don't. Well, I played, I went to Edinburgh, Scotland, and um, I performed as Fairy May in Scotland. And so um, that's probably, I guess that's, I think that's probably my favorite role. Yeah. Scotland uh, sounds yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. A week away in Scotland. Yeah, a week away in Scotland. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Love it. Uh, Love it. I think, I don't know. I don't. I don't mean to sound hokey, and this maybe could be a cop out. But George is a really great role. I okay. Think. I, yeah. I had, that's I a, had good a one. lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing George. It was. It was the first feature. Uh. So it. Like. I think it'll always have a place. In, uh, George will always have a place in my heart. But I think just how free we all were to like make the character who we saw them as, and like put ourselves onto that character as much as we wanted. Um. Yeah. They. The. The whole team. Uh, Roman and the producers were all very accommodating to uh to to our our interpretations of the of the role and i think in theater a lot of times um you know you're performing plays that have been performed a hundred times and it there's always that like the there's always something that you're comparing it to right or like the the original actor who played the role it's like they kind of set a precedent but for for this one uh, an, or, an original musical that's a rare thing on its own and getting to originate a character is, is a very rare treat yeah yeah, that's incredible. Kind of piggybacking off of that, 
Presley and George are such relatable, awkward, and fun <laughs> characters. Do you guys share any of the characteristics with your movie characters? Like, what are you guys like in real life? <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, I'm I'm awkward. I'm awkward. I'll admit <laughs> that through and through. Uh, no way. I'm, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> like, I, I think I'm a, I might be a little bit more outspoken than Presley is. Like, I as far as, I don't know, I, I probably still am awkward with guys, but I think I'm, I'm a little more outspoken, but yeah, definitely awkward, definitely quirky. Um, I also think like she has a little bit of fierceness that comes out in those warrior games. And so like, I think I do too, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I definitely see a lot of myself in George. Um, uh, like kind of, yeah, definitely uh, piggybacking off the last, last answer I gave, like, he, a lot of George, a lot of myself was like put on to George and, and uh, allowed by the by the um, by the team. But I, uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm a big old nerd. I'm a big fan of like the '80s and that cool aesthetic, like the movies and the the music. Um, and and yeah, I think I think George. Uh, that's what me and George have most in common. We're we're big nerds with our our weird specific interests. So we kind of touched on this with, you know, a week away in Scotland. Um, <laughs> yes. All of the best <laughs> teen musicals have had sequels. So like for me, a week away reminded me so much of High School Musical, just that genuine, fun, <laughs> authentic energy. And then, you know, there's Camp Rock and Teen Beach movie. Are you guys both holding out for a week away sequel? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, me and me and Jabril, we have been campaigning for a week away sequel, like overseas, Scotland, uh, yeah. in the Caribbean. Like we, we're ready for wherever they want to take us. You know, like Nashville's <laughs> yeah. great. We'd go back there, but you know, Paris. I think the yeah, an earlier version of the script. Um, ha like we went through a few working titles, but there was something like summer camp esque, like in the title. And um, I'm really glad that we kind of moved away from that because a week away is so open-ended, like it doesn't place us at summer camp. So we could go to Scotland. <laughs> we could go to space. Like, I don't know. The possibilities <laughs> we just are want endless. to travel. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> what we're saying. What was your favorite musical number? I have to say I loved Good Enough. It hooked me immediately. I sent the link to like all of my friends. I was like, watch this now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so cute. Like, what was just the most fun or? Or the one that like I guess stuck with you the most it's the hard most? Oh, oh sorry Jabril wait, wait Jabril you go you go because you have a good oh, all right sure 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 uh <laughs> yeah I think definitely the, my, the most fun was dive like that was we, we were talking earlier about how high energy it was on set and that day was the highest energy like there was so many people on set like uh we had that was the most uh that was the day we had the most like background actors um we were just like playing around on the beach like splashing in the water it was it, the energy was buzzing and and uh and it it was so much fun that that was definitely the most fun to film i think you're probably gonna be surprised because so this past this saturday we had our virtual premiere and i got to watch baby baby again and like me and Jabril's little dance in it like together <laughs> like of course like Jabril like kills it in baby baby but like i love that scene of presley and george and so like, I just like, I forgot how much I loved it. And so like, I think, I think that will be a really fun one for people to watch. So I'm excited for people's reactions. Yes. I'm glad you said it because I can't be like, my number is <laughs> like, <laughs> my number is <laughs> number one. Have you heard of baby, Shameless. baby? George sings it. <laughs> but also speaking of baby, baby, uh, yeah, it was so fun to watch. And like in, in an earlier version that we got to see, like, um, like early on, Roman hadn't finished the like green screen yet. And so it's just like so cool and that like anticipation of getting to see like how it evolves and what the what the final product would be um was was very exciting and then we and then we finally got to see it and it was great um but they kind of like you know they cut they cut it off halfway through and like no spoilers uh i won't i won't say why that's all i'll say uh so stream the soundtrack because the soundtrack version of baby baby is like that's good it is so good. And yeah. I will say, like, George and Presley look good in that scene. Like, yeah, we, like, yeah that's like, that 80s glam aesthetic. We, look we got great. that 80s glam. Like, bring it. We're going to bring it back. We're bringing back the 80s. Yeah, love exactly. it. Love it. You guys are competing with Stranger Things. <laughs> Netflix <laughs> yeah. is bringing back the 80s. Yeah, Confirmed here. <laughs> Confirmed here. You got it. Yes. So you mentioned the the big dance number in Baby Baby. Are you guys both dancers? 
I, I think we when are we started, now. Yeah, when we started, I don't <laughs> think any of us, like Kevin Bailey, Ian, any of us would have called ourselves dancers. I think Ian was like had the dancing bug and was like becoming yeah. a dancer, uh, like on the fast track, clo- uh, further than we were. But yeah, none of us were dancers when we got there. But Melina, our choreographer whipped us into shape and we became dancers real quick even if we even if we didn't want to be we all wanted to be I think we wanted to like it wanted it to look impressive but like we (laughs) wanted to be and Melina made it happen like I I I can't praise her enough she's she's a she's a miracle worker because she made us look so good we're dancers now (laughs) yes with a lot of work with a lot of work and a little movie magic we are dancers (laughs) Well, it looked so natural. So you guys Thank you. nailed it. It was perfect. Um, so I guess kind of for my final question, I don't want to keep you guys on here longer than, than I anticipated. Um, there are so many good pieces of advice and inspiration seen through the movie. What is one piece of advice or one biggest takeaway that you would like your audience to have? For me, um being my character and I feel like maybe George's character too is is really special because we are like especially Presley like very quirky characters and a lot of times in movies that's been seen as like the loser characters and and we're going to try to change you or make you a little prettier so that you'll be liked but but George loves Presley for who she is as does everyone else like she's so loved George is so loved despite how how quirky they are and they are we're here as the quirky characters who are seen in a, where major characters in this movie seen in a beautiful light and it's cool and it's awesome. And I, I would love for young girls to look at that and be like, you know what? I have my quirks and I, I may not be perfect. And maybe sometimes people see me as a little weird, but that's still really special. And I'm still beautiful and deserve to be accepted. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. I love that. I love that your characters weren't just reduced to like that comedic relief. Like right. there was full emotional connection. It was, it's a true love story or happy story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the, yeah. I, th- I definitely think that's the, that's the, um, the lesson to take away from like Presley and George's character. Um, super valuable. I wish that we had seen, I had seen characters like that when I was growing up. Um, I think for maybe like, on a, on a big picture scale, I guess, like Will's journey in particular, I think a lesson that could be taken away is that like, even if you feel super alone um, or like lost, you, you will find your tribe and you don't have to change who you are to like feel love. And it's similar to, you know, to the journey that Presley and George go on. But um, I don't know, I think Will specifically was feeling very alone in the beginning. Uh, and I think that's a big, you know, that's very relatable and, uh, and kind of universal, especially after this last year, uh, where we've all been kind of inside and away from our friends and loved ones. It's like that, that loneliness is, is, a, is you know, is, is everywhere. Everybody's kind of been feeling it together. And I think this is, uh, I think this, this movie can speak to that, that feeling that we've had and, and help us realize that like we, you know, our, our people are out there and there's no, like the end is the, uh, you know, the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Even if you feel super lost and hopeless, like, keep keep fighting and, and you'll, you'll you'll make it out the other end better and better than you were when you started oh that is so sweet yeah yeah definitely that is the message that rings true through a week away for sure well thank you guys so much for chatting with me today this was so much fun I really enjoyed it thank you for having thanks us. for having us it was fun yeah